Well, the Saints came marching into Tampa tonight, owning the Bucks in the regular season over the last few years, and now they're marching out of town with yet another win. And if the loss for the Bucks wasn't enough, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Leonard Fournette, and Levante David all left the game with an injury and were unable to return. If there was a bright spot to be found in this one, it'd be the defense holding the Saints offense to just three field goals. But offensively, as Tom Brady put it, they didn't do much of anything right. Didn't execute great, obviously, and um, just a tough night. So didn't do much anything right. Um, so got to get a lot better. Got to get back to work. There's a lot of football left and see if we can go get a win next week. I can't remember last time I shut out and uh, or us. and uh, But our kicking game, our kickers let us down also. I mean, this is between the offense and the, and the kicking game that cost us the game. The defense played good enough to win. Just disappointed. Uh, you know, I have some guys go down, you know, a lot of guys got to step up, so just uh, back to work, like Coach said. It hurts more losing all the players we lost. We lost about seven starters in this game, so I'm, I'm more concerned about that right now. You know, a lot of guys got banged up tonight, but that's part of football, so got to try to figure out, you know, who can go in and fill in some roles and play great football, and we're going to have to put together a great week this week. Yeah, you know, that is a that's, a, that's tough for, you know, one game, but next, next man up mentality, you know, the dudes who are up, you know, they got to make the plays when, you know, the numbers call, so. Is what it is. You know, it's next man up, especially for the defensive side. We got a couple players down. You know, Andrew Adams stepped up two weeks in a row for me last week, and then Antoine and Mike this week. Um, we'll be getting some guys back and guys getting healthy, so that'll be big for us. And uh, don't know too much about what's going on, on the offensive side with injuries, but uh, prayers they get healthy. And you know, Tom's going to lead them guys, and that we'll get get back on track. The Bucks now fall to 10 and four on the season, and we'll have to wait a little longer to clinch that NFC South title. And moving forward, while they may be missing some of the guys who left with injuries Sunday night, they will be welcoming back Antonio Brown and Mike Edwards following their suspensions. Yeah, what's in the best interest of our football team, and uh, both those guys have served their time, and uh, we welcome them back. Uh, I, I love, you know, I love them when on the field. I love how they play. You know, they bring a nice element. You know, they all have, you know. They're both really talented, so you know it's going to be nice to have them back. You know, for for the safety room, we can't wait to get Mike back. Um, Ball hawk, he's going to make a lot of plays for us. Um, every time he's out there, he makes plays, so that's going to be big, especially with some injuries right now. And um, Antonio Brown's going to be key too. You know what he brings, the best receiver in the league for a long time. Um, we're definitely going to need him, so we're, we're welcoming them guys back. Next Sunday, the Bucks will be on the road in Carolina, taking on the five and nine Panthers for the first time this season. In Tampa, Rachel West, Tampa Bay Times.